Today we are discussing about why money is highly required for sacrifice. Why money is highly recommended for sacrifice. I know that we can sacrifice anything we like to God. We can sacrifice material things. We can give to God material things. We can give to God many things. As we see it in the Bible, that different people, they gave God. David gave God money, material things. Solomon gave God bullock. We now begin to see uh, Abraham gave God Isaac. You now begin to see many things. So we can give. You remember that Cain and Abel, they gave God. This one gave out of the harvest of his farmland. The other one gave uh, cheap. We begin to see that different people in the scripture, they gave God different things and God accepted them. We are going to discuss why money is highly recommended for sacrifice. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. Like this message, share it and comment. Forward it to as many as you can. Let us join hands together to save life. Why money is highly recommended and so much valuable for the sacrifice. I want us to understand that in the area of sacrifice, sacrifice is something that, that have more value when we give our best. Sacrifice becomes sacrifice immediately we give something that we cherish most. If we look at the statement of Jesus in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 24, Jesus said, no man can serve two masters at a time. He must serve one and dishonor one. He must respect one and disrespect the other. Jesus went ahead and said, you cannot serve both God and mammon. Both God and mammon. Not money, but both God and mammon. And we are going to talk about what is the mammon Jesus was talking about there. That Jesus decided to use mammon, talk about God and talk about mammon, the same place. Which means two of them in the realm of the spirit, there is something that made Jesus to use two of them at the same time. Why? In those days, mammon was a Syrian deity. Mammon was a Syrian deity. That anybody that needs money, anybody that needs material things, anybody that needs material things will go there and worship the mammon. And when you bow down before that idol, he, it will empower you supernaturally to acquire wealth, to acquire material things. And the God Almighty also is the, is, the, is the supreme being that when you worship him, he will also give you material things and he will give you blessing, give you money. So it's like, it's like mammon and the God Almighty. Is that there is that thing that people did not understand because the heart of man desire for results. So they normally worship mammon and get what they want. They don't care to know. But Jesus now said, you cannot worship God and mammon together. You must choose one. And we understand that money, according to the word of God, the Bible said that money answers all things. Are you surprised that people can prefer to fast and to pray rather than giving money? I come to understand that people can prefer to fast to do dry fasting, 7 days, 15 days, 14 days, 20 days, to do 6 to 6, 26 days, 30 days, 1 month, as long as you did not ask them to attach financial sacrifice to it. Man value money more than every other thing because money can get anything you want on it. So man place more value on it. And whenever it will come to a stage of sacrifice, to a place of sacrifice, it must be the best of the best we give to God. It must be the best of the best we give to God. So now, when we look now, where is the area men put more value? Is on money. Money. Money is the area that everybody put more value. Even Christians, even born again, even sinners, everybody place more value on money. And that is why, as I said, that a child of God prefer to fast and to do dry fasting and to speak in tongue and to go to mountain and go to desert, to go to wilderness, go to far places in order to consult God as long as you will not ask him for money. 
So because of that, money becomes so valuable that anybody that can sacrifice that valuable thing to God, it means the person means that he value God, he place more value on God than on that money. And when you do that, it means that you value God more than money. You value God more than money. That is why that money play major role in the area of sacrifice. In as much as many prophets have taken this sacrifice of a thing to the wrong dimension, it does not cancel the, the true meaning of sacrifice. And that is why that people are hardly to give financial gift or sacrifice to God. They prefer every other thing. I advise you today to go for sacrifice that have more value. What do you place more value? The Lord said to Abraham, Sacrifice to me your son, your only son, whom thou lovest. God knew that Abraham loved Isaac and placed more value on Isaac. And when God desired for sacrifice, God said, It must be that that you value most. It must be that you cherish most. It must be that you cherish most. Somebody can say, okay, if I don't have money, does it mean that God will not accept my sacrifice? No, God will accept your sacrifice because when you don't have money, there is something else you have, you place more value. There is something else you have, you place more value. That is why you begin to see some people have sacrificed to the Lord their television. Some people have sacrificed to the Lord their only fan. Some people have sacrificed to the Lord their shoe. Some people have sacrificed to the Lord their clothes. Maybe they have four clothes, they sacrifice two. Some people are sacrificed to the Lord. One thing or other that, that is not money because they don't have money. Immediately you don't have money. There is another thing else that you place more value. But when you have money, there is nothing you value than money. Hallelujah. Whenever you see a man that has money, he places more value on money. He can release his uh, one thing or the other to you. But as long as his money, he values it. Sacrifice is something that is very, very important that you must understand it. Anytime you have anything you value more is what God is requiring for you. It may not be money you value. But I'm talking about the general of a thing, the general thing where people so much share is, is on money. Because there are some people that have something that is not money. They cherish that thing. They can give to the Lord money. But they will never give to the Lord money equivalent to that they cherish. So in a place of sacrifice, it is something that you so much desire, something that is so much precious to you, something that is so much delight, something that you so much cherish is what you will use for sacrifice. I advise you today to engage on sacrifice. Any area you need answer, engage on sacrifice in that area. Some people say, oh, there is a family cause. There is something that is holding me in my father's house. Engage on sacrifice. All costs will be broken. Engage on sacrifice. Ancestral bondage will be over. Engage on sacrifice. May the God Almighty bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me on my Facebook page. Comment and like and share this video. May good God bless you. See you next of my video. And bye for now.